I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. It's the middle of the summer. I've got some yard work to do today, so we're gonna find out if the GH5 is heat proof. Given that there's been a lot of talk about cameras overheating and I have a lot of yard work to do today, I have to clean up some stuff, make it look a little bit nicer back here. My garden is overgrown and my kids' toys are everywhere. It's Phoenix, Arizona. It's over 100 degrees. I thought this would be a good time to put the GH5 on the line and see how it can hold up in these pretty drastic circumstances. I don't wanna be out here for more than an hour, but I'll probably try and stay out here for a full two hours if the camera can take it. If it can't, then I'll wrap it up and, and we'll know. But I think this is kind of an interesting test. Granted, it's not in the same league as some of the newer cameras that are full frame. It is micro four third, but I am recording at 4K 60 just to kind of stress the camera out as much as possible. And we'll see how this goes. I'll get some work done. We'll test out the camera and see how it holds up. I should also say I have another GH5 doing a time lapse over here just to see kind of what happens, if anything interesting happens, if they both overheat at the same time, if they're different because this one's doing video and that one's doing photo. We'll see what happens and how things play out, but at least I can get some work done and we'll have some good information about a camera overheating. Been gone for a couple weeks so my garden was completely overgrown thankfully this gave me a little time to clean all this stuff up and it looks like the camera's still rolling all this is going in the compost all right i've been recording for about 25 minutes now and it does seem like a good time to put on some sunscreen Might have been a smart idea to put this on first, but at least I'm not forgetting. It is a good idea whenever you're filming outside, just remember the sunscreen. All right, so the camera did die. I switched it from 60 frames a second to 24. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. And then my time-lapse camera is still going and that one's slightly in the shade. So I'm gonna put this camera in the shade as well to see if that kind of would be like an easy onset solution for if your camera were overheating. Okay, put it in some shade, maybe switch the frame rate if you have to, and we'll see how it holds up. One other thing I wanna do is take some temperature readings out here to see how hot things are actually getting. Right now, if I take a reading off of this camera that's recording right here, it's been in the shade here for about 20 minutes. It's at 117 degrees, 118 degrees, right on the camera body. The tripod itself is a little cooler at 108. So you're looking at about like maybe a 10, de 10 degree difference between the tripod and then the camera itself could be from the camera warming itself up, I suppose. The time-lapse camera that's been doing better over in the corner is at a similar 115. So 115, 118 in the shade out here, this brick wall that's right next to everything, 108 degrees. So I would say probably about 108, 110, just shade temperature outside, while if you have an electronic device that's running, in this case the GH5s that are going, they're about 10 degrees hotter in the shade. I'm gonna go take some readings out here in full sun to see what we have. Full sun, we've got 124 degrees. This black plastic that's been sitting here, 148 degrees Fahrenheit, 145, 146. This black plastic is getting really hot and that's a thing to remember is that in full sun, the black camera is gonna absorb a lot more heat. Just putting it in the shade can help substantially reduce that temperature. If this GH5 were out here, I imagine it'd be almost 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes sense that if it's at 120, let's say right now, that 30 extra degrees is gonna be significant in terms of keeping the camera cool or getting too hot and it just needed to maintain everything. So definitely avoid direct sun, especially if you're in Phoenix. Yeah, 149 degrees Fahrenheit. It's at 22-ish minutes of cord time. 
it's not giving me any warnings, it's not saying it's overheating. So all things look good. And I think that's really just the difference is from full sun into the shade, I'm hoping that lets us keep rolling because you could easily do that on set, pop up a little uh, shade diffusion, a little black flag just to give the camera some shade so it doesn't get so scorching hot. Camera's still rolling. I just have a few things left to do, but I'm gonna plan on staying out here until this thing either overheats or it just fills up. I put two cards in there, so I have two 64 gigabyte cards. I've still got 13 minutes left on this one and then a whole extra hour and 25 minutes to record on the other card. It's gonna roll right over it. On the GH5, there's the dual card slots, so I can just record continuously for almost three hours. In the case that it can last three hours, I'm gonna let it out here in the, uh, in the shaded sun right now. Um, it's 110 today, so hopefully that gives you an idea of where we're at, both environmentally, the surfaces we have around. It's between 105 to 110, depending where, where you are in the valley right now. So I'm gonna let this stuff keep recording as long as it can. I'm gonna finish up my work, and I'm curious to see if it, if it can just survive continuous now that it's in the shade. So far, so good. Still recording. I'm gonna go inside and cool down because I'm too hot. So if the camera's keeping up with this, that's awesome. And of course the battery died. So had to swap that. Didn't overheat yet, but it happens. I actually have to run and pick up dinner. So I'm just gonna let this roll and things look good right now. Still hot out here, but it's still rolling. The sun is finally starting to set and the card is full. No overheating issues, went all the way to the end.